Hi everyone, I welcome you back to this channel Technical Drawing Masterclass. So today we are going to look at the roof plan. In our last uh, two videos, I showed you how you can draw the ground floor plan, how you can fix in all these blocks. Then also I showed you how you can draw the dimensions and also the grid lines. But then this time we are going to look at the roof plan. So for the roof plan, uh, we are going to use this part of our drone. But then remember the major function as to why we have to include a roof on any building is that uh, the roof protects the inner inner part of the building from anything that comes from the top, like rain, a wind, and too much sunshine. Like it does a lot of things, and also one of the <coughs> secondary functions of the roof. the roof, it also adds beauty on the structure. So any designer would ensure that uh, the kind of the roof that is put on any structure that he has designed or she has designed, the roof should be one of the things that look so good, like to bring out each and everything. So let's get started, and I show you how we can uh, come up with a roof plan. So first. I'll make my layer for roof. Where is it? Right here. Then I'll use the line uh, command. Then right here at that corner, I'll draw a line of any length. Then I'll press the tab key. Then I'll give it an angle of 45. So I'll do the same thing right here. Then this side, I'll draw a line any length but then the angle should be 135 then i'll just copy this line right here okay so after that i'll join this point this point where these lines meet this this line and this line where it meets at that point and also this line and this line at that point so i join these two points so after that i'll trim off uh, these excess lines because i no longer need them at the moment so when you're done i'll highlight these lines then i'll also I like these uh, grid lines because I need them on my roof plan. So after that, I'll use the copy command, then I'll move each and everything that I've highlighted at this side. So after that, I'll click on that line, then I'll offset it a distance of 50, then also this side 50. So what I've just done here is I'm trying to create the ridge of the roof. Next, I'll trim off what is excess. Okay, this looks so good then after that i'm going to also come up with arrows that show how this roof falls so it falls this side also this side also this side and also this side and remember um this kind of roof that we are, we are drawing it's a hip roof so let's go in for arrow so i'll create an arrow here and I'll put 100 millimeters then for the length or height I'll put uh, 2000 now use the line command and after that I'll move it up to there then after me snapping it at the midpoint of that line, I'll pull it down that point there. Then after that, I'll just copy it. Have multiple copies of that arrow. So 
so after that so i'm going to mirror those arrows this part of the fold of the roof then i'll hit no because if you hit yes high chances are you're going to lose out the original copy of the arrows but then if you hit no you still have your original copy then the duplicate copy so i'll hit no so you find that i have these arrows facing this side and also i have these arrows facing this side so what is next i need also to put uh, an arrow right here then another arrow right here so i'll click that arrow then i'll copy it right here then i'll rotate it at 90 degrees okay then i'll snap it at the corner where the ridges meet then i'll move it down that point and after that I'll duplicate it I think for this side uh, the three arrows are quite enough so I'll just mirror what is this side to this side so if i want to mirror these arrows this side i'll highlight these arrows then i'll click on the mirror command then after i'll look for the midpoint of this uh, ridge which is right here then after that i'll hit no so you find that we have arrows on every side of the roof so after that i'll use the text command And I'll write there all. So I'll increase the height of the text to 150. So let me make it 200 millimeters. Then I'll try to move it roughly at the midpoint of the roof. So after that, still I'll mirror that text and decide. It no, so you find that you have a, a copy of this text beside. So next, I'll copy the same uh, word right here. Then I'll just uh, rotate it an angle of ninety. And after that, try to move it right there. So I'll click at it. Then I'll mirror it this side. So I'll click at the midpoint of the ridge and I'll hit now. So you find that I have the same word this side and the same word this side. So what we are left with is uh, to put the hatch, indicate that this is a roof. Remember that uh, a roof plan uh, is different from a roof structure. It shows you how uh, the rafters are arranged. Then also it shows you the layout of the walls. But then the layout of the walls should be dotted. Okay. So I'll show you how you can come up with the roof structure in uh, the next videos of our our series so i advise that uh, you keep on the channel and also subscribe then you can always get notified whenever i upload my content so let's continue so i'll activate my layer for hatch then after that i'll click on the hatch command opens up then i mostly uh, use uh, this hatch command for the roof so i'll give it a scale of 50 then i'll increase my transparency to um, 60 and I'll give it an angle of 45 and I'll hit enter. Uh, at this side of the roof the hatching should shouldn't be uh, like this that's why i'm trimming it off so still i'll click on the hatch command 
then when I'm done I'll change this angle to 135 then I'll hit enter so you find that the hatch the hatch direction has changed if you analyze properly uh, this side it shows that the iron sheets are laid falling this side then this side i wanted to illustrate it in a way that uh, the iron sheets are falling this side okay this looks so good So this is what I wanted to uh, to illustrate. So what we are left with is uh, to name up our roof. Then also we shall include uh, the dimensions. So to name the roof, I'm going to use the leader command, which is right here. So, uh, but uh, before you use the leader command, you have to first go to the mount leader style manager, then click at modify. Then after click at leader format, then check out the leader type it should be straight some other people they love using the spine so if you click at spine yeah it changes its structure to a spine and then if you hit uh, straight changes it to a straight line kind of and the color should be by layer then the line weight all type should be by layer weight should be by layer then also arrow symbol or arrow head the symbol should be uh, in most cases you shouldn't dictate which symbol you should use but uh, it's upon you to select uh, which kind of symbol is favorite for your design so for me i'm going to use dot or you can choose to use this closed or closed field so for me i've used dot then you select the size of the arrow head so i've already set mine to 400 then break size you leave it as it is then leader structure in most cases i don't edit anything here then right here text or text options default text then text style you leave it as standard text angle keep it horizontal you can change it just in case if you don't want it to be aligned horizontally, you can always play around with these options. So for text height, it's 90. Then also these ones, I leave them as they are. But uh, if you want a frame to be put on your text, you can always click uh, on this box or square. So when a tick is inside it, a frame will always be on your text. So, but for me, I don't need it. So I'll leave it out. Then I'll leave these ones the way they are. So I'll hit OK, then close. So I'll click at the multi leader command. Indicate it as a ridge. Then I'll give it a height of 150. Then also, still using the multi leader command. I'll put uh, iron sheets of roof each at 30 degrees timber structure. The structure. details so I'll highlight that part of the at zero then I'll make it a symbol of degrees such that indicates that this is uh, 30 degrees so it should be iron sheets each angle at 30 degrees on timber structure the structure engineers and details so I'll increase the text height to 150 like that so I'll copy the same text right here and then I need to tilt it such that this text is this side so to do so I'll hover my cursor at this blue dot then AutoCAD will provide me with options stretch and lengthen landing then add leader but for me I want to stretch so I'll click at that stretch command 
all option then i'll stretch it up to that point right there so you find that i've moved uh, this kind of text right here so after that i'll put all this text under the layer for text because they have been under the layer of arch and the reason as to why you, you must draw any kind of drawing in AutoCAD under layers is that uh, time may reach when you have to edit your drawing but you don't need to edit some other parts of the drawing so if you have drawn your structure under layers you just freeze a certain layer and you edit some other part of the drawing so next I'm going to proceed with putting the dimensions So I'm done with putting the dimensions and so you find that uh, this is all for the roof plan. So I just want to say that thanks for watching until the end of this video. We'll meet next time. And always don't forget to like, share this kind of content to your friends and relatives that you feel like they are in need of this kind of content. Thanks for watching. We'll meet next time.